and now what I will do is to mirror this mesh to obtain the full uh, mode. So click on mirror option, click on select all, and for the mirror plane, I choose that X plane to secure the plane. Click apply, click on the right direction, undo. Um, okay, let's make this zero. Select it again. Okay. Okay, you can activate the node number. Now I will mirror it again, but in the other plane. X is X plane. Apply. Okay. Now then, I have that. I will begin to extrude it in the other direction. So uh, let's click here on the view. Go to the isometric view, and I will go back to the general coordinate system. So go to structure. Yeah, mm -hmm. General coordinate system. Okay. Let's exchange here. And I will begin to choose a section. So go in the walk and of the three menu here. And you see, um, there are three sections here are not defined, so they are just in uh, red. And if you want to select it, you can double click on uh, one of these sections. So first this one, right and right. And you see on the screen, it has been uh, underlined in red. So now I will extrude these sections so we go into the node element tab, extrude, and this time I will choose line element planner element. For the thickness, um, this time uh, use 10. And for the thickness, and um, go down. Okay, for the here local direction, it will be zero, not minus zero one, and I will do three elements. So click on three, click on apply. Now you have extruded this part. Now I want to extrude the other part. So. Um, Close this window, you don't have to do again all the settings. So I will click here, select element by event value and section. And here you can directly select the section 998. You can add. And for the thickness, I will put 15 millimeter thickness. So this is the same. So just click on apply. Now you have, you have it. And for the last section, again I will click here for selecting the section 997. And for the thickness, I will choose 40. And um, here for the number of times, we will find Click on apply. Okay, now I have this. You can close the, the, the window. Now uh, I want to mirror this on the other side. But I don't want to keep the middle section, so I don't want to mirror the time element at the middle. So I will uh, select all. And if you select Twenty here, right click, and you can unselect only these elements. So you can now click on mirror and mirror again the plane X Z Z. Okay, also. now you can unshrink and I now created my web opening. Now I have to create the beam which is uh, linked with this web opening. 
So to do that, I will again create some nodes. So I will go into here, click here. For the coordinates, uh, if you enter only minus 3, it will be by default the value of x and the coordinate will be 0. So uh, at one time, I, I will select two points, so I will write the 9 for the distance, 5, and now you see two points are displayed, one here and one there. So just with the ID, that will be the point 997 and 996. Now I have to link these to create a view. So uh, I will go on create element again. General beam top of beam. And uh, here in the section number, I will create a new the defined section. So click on add. Um, click on user. So we will define the value. Uh, for the name, it will be a uh, location of the section, so it will be special section. Oh, I'm sorry, here I'm still in meta, so don't do the same mistake. Before clicking on add, go back to millimeter, add, I, 2000, multiply by 800. Multiply by 20 divided by each. And I will enter the value of all these questions here 2800, 20, and 4. And you can click on the space and close that. So you see your new section has been brought inside here. So uh, you can click on nodal connectivity and directly click on these two nodes to create your section. Same for here. Okay, now I create with my web object. 